Hi guys, Wayne here, Nomadic Van Man, coming at you with another paracord belt that I'm making for a friend of mine for um, uh, JDS Flying Canuck, another Canadian um, who ordered a paracord belt because he saw a few making mine here. So I've got it started there, John. It is, I've got the buckle and it is in black and silver or uh, gray and it's all in has to be uh, woven yet so uh, in Aust Australia the um, connecting and all that is just connected onto the buckle with cow's hitch and then a uh, double cobra weave so that's what that side looks like and then the other side that's the side that's worn out outside and this is the inside I like this side, and I guess he said he wanted one like mine with black on the out, outer edge. So that's the way that one looks. Okay, let me take you through a little bit of how it's done, and uh, I really won't show you the, the stitching, just the uh, carry on of how it goes, and then maybe the final final ending there. Okay guys, back at you later. All right, guys, this is the beginning of the belt here. <clears throat> I've got the double cobra weave with the black and the gray on the inside, black on the outside edges. That's the, the, uh, this is the side that faces outward, and this is the side that faces inward. We've got a start, and I think he wants like a 45, 46 inch belt. So we've got all, all the, uh, cord here ready to be tied so let me come back at you when I get a little farther down maybe halfway or so all right guys this is my paracord belt which I made for a uh, youtuber following me JDS flying Canuck he requested a 45 inch belt in the black and silver, gray, <laughs> whatever color I guess that is. And this is it here. All the way down, 45 inches. Now what I'm gonna make, and this is the back side, what I'm going to make also here now is a bracelet. We'll just do it in the single cobra weave, but in the same colors, black and uh, gray. So first of all, I've got to melt these two cords together. So you just get your lighter, melt these two cords pretty good. and then simply stick them together and then I guess you could wet your fingers and round out the she's hot nice and tight all right now we'll continue on and this is going to be an adjustable um, an adjustable bracelet so you can wear it. Uh, so I've got four, four and a half feet of each color joined in the middle, but because we don't want to see this uh, join here, we'll make it go inside the, covered up by the weave itself. So we're going to have a loop like so at the end with the join here, and then the cobra weave, Solomon's knot, whatever you want to call it, will go down the length. And because we are making a an adjustable uh, cord, or an adjustable bracelet, we're gonna have to do some special knotting here. So we'll back at you when we get there. All right, guys, to make this bracelet, the two color, I've melted and singed these two silver and black together. And I'm gonna find the center of my cord 
but I want to leave a loop about just about as long as the bracelet's going to be so that when I do the Solomon knot or the cobra weave it's going to cover over top of that join there so John has an eight and a half inch wrist he says so eight and a half is there and I'm going to make it a little bit shorter maybe an eight seven and three quarters I'm going to squeeze and hold my thumb there that is where the weave is going to start now we're going to make a loop on each end by forming a um, Solomon's knot or uh, cobra weave right away so we'll take the silver gray over over the two and then the black over the gray under the, to the two core and up through that loop there and we want to lightly tighten down the cobra weave because it's only like half a cobra weave so far and there again we're going to take this gray over the black over the gray under the two core and up through that loop and tighten this down a bit here so that we have a cobra weave knot with the two loops and you can see that the join is <laughs> hidden so let's tighten this one down and we want to pull these loops so that they're just about closed just about closed <laughs> not all the way closed and the gray down so that you can just see a bit of daylight through there now we can tighten up our cobra weave real tight and we'll take another measurement to see what we have here and as it is right now we have less than seven inches so that's not enough we want to pull some back okay you can see i i've made the loops at the end with just a bit of daylight showing through there and tightened our first cobra weave now to do the cobra weave to be consistent with the gray in the center i'm always going to use the gray first over the top and then the black over the gray under the two core and up through the loop now I made my join farther down in the middle and that will be covered up and now we'll just continue with the Cobra weave all the way down to the end pulling nice and tight make sure that you've got just a bit of daylight through there because you have to run these cords through that at the end to make it adjustable all right that is the cobra weave will and i'll come back at you when i get down to the end all right guys here's our bracelet this is what it looks like on this side and it's the black down the center on the other side to be consistent with the belt which looks like this on the outside we're going to make it like this of course so and the reason you uh, this is where you determine whether you're going to have this is the outside so it curls this way around your wrist or curls this way around your wrist and I've got room for one more knot here so we'll make that first yep. 
and then we'll pass the black that's going from the top we'll go down and the gray that's going from the back will go from the other side and we'll get it through here And now at this point in time is where you would want to decide which way you want it to go. So we want to curl it this way. So here we go. We're going to feed the gray up through that loop and the black up through that loop. And I'm going to need a fid to do that. And I'll get my knotter's tool that has my fids inside. And I'll use one of these fids on the gray. And what you want to do here is, it's got too big of a lump on the end there, so I want to cut this off at an angle. And then I'll lightly melt this. Not too much, just enough to get it started and then stick it in my fid. And the fid has threads on the inside and we'll feed that in there the best we can here at least until I can get it through the through the loop okay let's try this the gray through the gray loop like that. Take the fit off and put it on to the black and now the black goes up and through the loop on the other end. Like so. And there we have our two colors and our adjustable um, bracelet. Now we're going to take the length we've got left. Now you want to be able to open this up and be able to get it over your hand. So the measurement there. So I can see that we're going to have to make our knot right about here. So that you can get it on. So with a knot there, then you can tighten this up. We need to make our knot right about there. So I'll open that back up to the point to get it on the wrist. And that marks where our knot is going to go. All right, now that I've opened this up, the left it open is big enough to get your wrist through because it's adjustable. We are going to tie a diamond knot right here as a stopper knot. So how we're going to do that is we'll place this this is how I do my diamond knot. Place it over my finger, make a loop. Hang on. Make a loop, a loop like that. Then this one here comes underneath this, comes over these here and under back under the black here. like that which makes like a figure eight kind of a knot there and then this one here this lead here will go underneath the other lead there hang on and then up through the center hole there and then this lead is going to go around this leg and up through that center hole. Kind of hard to show you when it's so small. And that will form our diamond knot. Like that. But we're going to have to move this knot down to... So we're going to have to pull all the leads. Move. You can move that knot up or down. We want to move it right to the length that we need. 
and that is just about right where it is already so that's not so bad right where it's at so I'll tighten this up a little bit more moving it down just a bit and I, you've got to grab each individual strand and pull it all the way through the knot here so I'll do that all right I've taken each strand here and pulled them all the way through tightening up the knot the diamond knot got a nice diamond knot here and both cords come out the center all we've got to do now is cut and singe those and the bracelet is done okay make these both at the same time here melt them together and we'll give them some sort of a um, design to them by using the perforations on here okay that is it my friends that's it John we have your bracelet and your belt All we need now to determine is how to get them shipped off to you. And there they will be in the mail. But doesn't that look nice? Let me show you what we got here. Your bracelet. And your belt. Now these right now are seem to be firm. Your belt is nice and firm. But this will loosen up after time and get nice and soft and supple. Keep wearing it. All right. That was it, guys. The belt and the bracelet for John of JDS Lion Canuck.